And now it's time for our series, Elena's Experiments. And of course, you knew today we were going to go Halloween themed. We have local STEM educators and enthusiasts who stop by every Monday with experiments and demonstrations you can do at home using things you likely have laying around or you can easily get in town. Joining us today, we have Delia Navarro, the Executive Director of Sylvan Learning of Bakersfield, and her kiddos, which are on early out today. I'm so happy you got to join us. Usually we only see you in the summer. So we're all Halloween themed. What are we yes, making today? Lots of treats with dry ice today. Okay. No tricks, just science. Perfect. So. And a special glove to handle the dry Absolutely, ice. Absolutely, definitely need parent supervision on this yeah. one. This is a dangerous one. Make sure that you're being very careful. We have some goggles down there Perfect. as well. Dry ice. What is dry ice? What it's is carbon it? dioxide. Carbon dioxide in a solid state. So one of the neat things with this and why it's so important to use your safety gear is it's extremely cold and can be extremely dangerous. In fact, it's how cold? Negative 109 degrees. Wow. Negative 109 degrees. So as we move from this solid state into the gas state yes. in a process called? Sublimation. Sublimation. Um, it skips over the water state. It mm -hmm. sk st skips over the liquid entirely. So the hotter your water, the better it will be. Okay. So, so many things you can do. You can pick up a bag. This was picked up at our local Branco store. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do that. Um, and you don't have too long with it because it does go through the process of sublimination. And so we want to make sure that you have many activities aside from just decorating your front porch. Yes. So that's one of the first ones we're going to do. Also, one of the things that you can watch is how your ice can scream. Okay. So if you have dry ice and some metal. <laughs> oh, can you hear that? Can you get it straight down there? There we go. I don't know if you can hear that at home, but it's... It's, it's much screaming. louder than I would expect. Yes. Yes, the ice is screaming because we're touching it with metal, and the metal is uh, causing the ice to vibrate okay. at a very fast pace, a very, very rapid. In fact, we tried some different experiments, and you can do so at home. Again, use the safety precautions. Never use it with bare hands. But what you'll find is we tried it with a coin, and the coin froze. Ignore that one. <laughs> <laughs> Froze very, very quickly. Okay. Another one that's neat to watch in action is with cabbage juice. Now, you must be warned you need ventilated area. This smells very stinky. Very stinky. <laughs> Sorry about that. But if you put it in a case like this, and the great thing about this tall thing is the cylinders, are the kids can touch it. Yes. It's totally fine. And the, it's a natural pH indicator. Okay. So you're going to be able to see as dry ice is acidic, it's going to start changing colors. Really? So it's so. this dark purple co color because yeah. you made it with red onions red boiled onions. down to make the juice. And then there's some bubbles from some soap left over. And what you'll notice is it's not actually, if you pop the bubbles, guys, go ahead and you can touch the bubbles, pop, pop, you can pop. touch. And it basically wow. goes directly into that gas form. The same thing oh, happened so here. You fun. can get some dry ice and take some time to put directly in the bubbles. Yes. If you want to do that, another great tool. Add a little bit of dish yes. soap. And then another favorite of ours are boo bubbles. So let me see if I can make some boo bubbles for you guys at home to see. That's where you're going to need some gloves. Ooh, this is so entertaining. So the soap made yours sticky. You're dropping your dry ice into just room temperature water in the jug? Yes, yes. No, actually, this is boiling. Boiling water. <laughs> well, okay. it was an hour ago, but <laughs> it was in there. And then online, I was able to find this little contraption here. And what we're going to do is dip it in some soapy water. Okay. Let's see if I can come over here so you guys can see. Get your gloves on. And we're going to close this top, and we're going to create <gasps> boo bubbles. That is so and much if you're fun. Careful, you can actually capture it like that, <laughs> and they bounce. They can bounce. I could try to make one on this right here if yes. you want to take over this one. Hold that, and you can do the same thing with this glass bowl. So many different activities and treats you could do. I just took a piece of cloth here, and you can try to capture your bubble as well. In this to larger bowl. Just like we do Let's bubbles. Let's see if it'll cooperate. It takes several so, tries oh, to do. Oh, we are out of time. Oh. I'm heartbroken. But this is so much fun, Delia. Thank you very much. Thank you. All of this is available online, and we'll share it later today as well. Happy Halloween, kiddos. Happy Halloween. Halloween. We'll be right back.